Mariam Rajavi saluted the striking teachers across the country. On Sunday, October 14th, noble teachers across Iran went on strike and refused to go to classrooms to protest their dire livelihood conditions, repression, security atmosphere in schools, and to achieve their trampled on rights. Mariam Rajavi, president-elect of the Iranian resistance, saluted the teachers who staged sit-ins against the tyranny of the clerical regime, saying the catastrophic situation of the employed and retired teachers is the result of the repressive policies of the anti-cultural regime of the mullahs, and as long as this regime is in power, it will get even worse. Tehran University students rally during Rouhani's speech. Iranian regime president Hassan Rouhani delivered a speech in Tehran University on Sunday while students held a rally on campus chanting college students are ready to die but will not accept to live in shame. The students were protesting near the building where Rouhani was delivering his remarks chanting high prices, unemployment, Rouhani must provide answers. Gravely concerned of students using the opportunity to hold anti-regime protests the Iranian regime had previously made arrangements to prevent the students from entering the conference hall. When Rouhani was in the conference hall, one female college student was seen shouting, why didn't you provide permission for the students to enter the hall? Merchant arrested amid rumours of impending market strike. Security forces in Tabriz arrested Azerbaijani activist Mohammed Abdul Mohammed Zadeh Namroh on Wednesday, October 10th, and transferred him to an undisclosed location. Namrol, a manufacturer in the Tabriz shoe market, was arrested in anticipation of the shoe market's upcoming strike. This connection has yet to be confirmed. Urban bazaars across Iran are the site of increasingly frequent strikes among merchants who are fed up with the symptoms of the current recession, including an unstable currency exchange, rising prices, and inflation. 1.8 million people lose jobs in Iran over the past five years. Over the past five years, over 1.8 million people have been left without jobs in Iran, according to the news agency. According to the workforce statistics, unemployed people who have been employed over the past five years have lost their job for 13 reasons. There are five major causes of unemployment. The first reason is temporary employment, which cost over 450,000 people their jobs. The second is low salary, which left nearly 295,000 people without jobs. The third is staff reduction, which has cost over 250,000 people their jobs. The fourth is that a company or firm completely ceased its activities, which caused the loss of over 120,000 jobs. The fifth reason is that 90,000 people have lost jobs because of seasonal work. Among other reasons are workplace change, education, family issues, migration, retirement, seniority, illness, and so on. According to the statistics, over the past five years, only 65,000 jobless people use unemployment benefits, while nearly 1.8 million people do not get unemployment benefits. South Korea imports zero oil from Iran in September. South Korea imported zero crude oil from Iran in September, the first time in six years, ahead of US sanctions taking effect in November, preliminary data from the Korea Customs Service showed on Monday. The world's fifth largest crude buyer imported 10.8 million tonnes of crude last month, against 12.3 million tonnes imported a year ago, the data showed.